Hi, this is Marty from Waukesha Floral and Greenhouse, and today we're going to talk about some orchids. Uh, today we've got a nice selection of Phalaenopsis orchids here. Now, orchids have a bad rap. Um, a lot of people think they're very hard to maintain and hard to take care of, but that's really not the truth. Phalaenopsis orchids can be one of the easiest, most rewarding plants that you can have. Um, as you can see, the color and the beauty on these plants is absolutely incredible. Um, come in many different shades from absolutely pure white to the rosy pinks, um, some with um, beautiful throats on the, on the flower bracts. And I'm just going to tell you a couple things on care and handling on orchids today. Um, the first thing to look at on an orchid is to look at the root system. And you look at this and you think, wow, that is really neat, in need of repotting, but not necessarily so. An orchid is an epiphyte. It is a plant that grows in the crotches of trees in a rainforest. And with that, it doesn't have any soil. So what it's doing is, is it's living off of the dead and, and dying debris of leaf debris that fell down into the forest, into the, the crotches of the trees. So it's not a real soil lover. Um, as I pull it out of the pot, you can see these roots are really tangled up and, and very firm and everything in here. Nice bright green. Um, you might think we need to repot this, but we don't want to repot it yet. This is actually a pretty young plant. We never want to repot while we do have a bloom on the plant because you will lose the blooms, unfortunately. So when this plant goes dormant and it loses the flowers, you trim back the flower spikes back down to the bottom. That's the time to repot. And you don't necessarily repot into a true potting mix. Um, you can use uh, a good bark potting mix. Now here we've just got regular um, you know, pine bark nuggets here, and we do have our soilless mix, which does have more bark, peat, and perlite in it. Make a mixture of those two things to repot this. Only go up one more pot size on the plant. Don't go to a big, huge pot because it's not going to like that. And you're also going to get the tendency to look at this and say, well, should I stuff all these other roots back down in there that are sticking out? No, these roots are out for a reason. They're looking for oxygen. They want more air, and therefore they have come out of the soil to look for that air. Um, that's a totally natural phenomenon on this plant is for the roots to start to pop out of the plant. So actually orchids love to have temperatures like we love, anywhere between 60 and about 85 degrees. So temperate households are just fine. Um, you don't have to really worry about the cold unless you're you know, in a real cold area. Um, and they also like to be watered and kept moist, but not wet. That's the one thing you don't want to do is let these stand in water because they will get a root rot to them. So just remember, um, just moderate water, moderate temperatures. Um, they will rebloom for you. Um, it takes about a year. It'll have a life cycle. So if it was blooming in February, it may be blooming again the next February. And you want to have it go through a dormant phase and just kind of rest for a bit. So that's really the, the one, two, three on orchids. Um, I hope you got some more information on that. And thank you very much. Waukesha Floral and Greenhouse. Fresh, fun, fabulous.